Alrighty, this is day two. I already finished printing all the white hoodies and the gray hoodies and the white t-shirts and the gray t-shirts. That's all done on black print. That came out beautiful, I'll show you in a few. Um, I got my mask on because I have these plumbers coming in and out fixing the draining system. So I gotta put my mask on. But everything right now looks pretty, pretty good. Got everything done. All this, oh man, so many hoodies, man. But the hoodies came out pretty nice. See, you got the white and the gray and the white t-shirts over there. Looks pretty, pretty good. I cleared this table here because I have one of my um, helpers that he comes and helps me with the screens. He's gonna come and he's gonna turn around all the hoodies because I gotta print the label on. I cannot do it like a t-shirt because the hoodie doesn't let the whole screen come down. So I have to turn them around bring them in the palette and print all the labels. That's gonna be a job in itself, but at least he'll come, after I'm gone, he'll come today and he'll set it up. So tomorrow in the morning when I come in, everything is set up right here. All the extra small, all the small, all the medium, all piled up. T-shirts, hoodie, all in the same um, size. So I'll be done, now comes ready the pants. Pants are gonna be some white pants, some gray pants. That's gonna be printed with black ink, but these over here, are gonna be printed on white ink, so I'm getting red in right now. So I got my palette sleeve right here, pretty good. Um, this is a great palette from Anatole, man. The sleeve palette, hard, it's beautiful, it's awesome. Make sure when you do a logo, make sure that you know the size of your palette because if you know, it's a five inch um, wide sleeve palette, but if your image is five inches or a little more, you're gonna have some issues, you're not gonna be able to print that. And the other thing is if you have a, palette that is not metal and you've been using it for a while a sleep palette because of taking the heat is gonna start warping once it starts warping get rid of it that means it's gonna mess up your print it's not gonna be even you're gonna have some issues but now whoo let's get printing on day two all the sweatpants and tomorrow day three labels and I'll be done with this job so let's do this <laughs> all right when it comes to pants the trick is the same way you do your sleeve on this side that you already have your measurement, make sure that the seam on the outside of the pan is about two fingers, maybe an inch and a half, maybe about an inch and a half and it's nice and even. And that will make sure that your print is nice and straight and it's in the exact spot. Now, this print, usually the prints that I've been doing lately are not all the way up here. They're not like about four or five inches down. They really from the, this part here where the seam is, all the way down to about 10 inches. 10 inches um, length and the logo will be here. So at least the print you're looking for it to be all the way over here. Not up here, right here. That's how a lot of people here in New York, when they buy the pants and the apparels that they um, they buying, the print is all the way down here. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Let's get printing. Next, to take you to Flash, remember the other leg sleeve that's um, touching the floor? You don't wanna flash it and drag that sleeve on the floor. Just take that sleeve, put it like that, and then go and take it a flash.
right here came out real nice but now i want to put them on and let me see how they look so let's do this oh yeah nice looks good like it down there all right enough talking and let's get these pants going let me get the black orange and blue out of the way then the white one will be easier there's no flashing it's just black on um, white apparel oh easy so let's do this